guys, it's Julie. And as you know, I have lots of questions. And so this is another episode of I Have Questions. And my guest today is Pastor Fred Thrower of Central Presbyterian Church of Waxahachie. Thank you for doing this with me today. It is my pleasure. Yay. So um, I my question today is about, I was reading um, about casting your cares on God. So when you're when you're having a hard time, you're just casting your cares. So it made me start doing a little, I, I, I just started looking up the definition of casting and it's basically throwing your cares. It's, you know, I, I picture like throwing a rock or throwing a baseball, you're casting it into the, something into the fire. Mm -hmm. And um, in my opinion, when I hear that, it's hard to picture throwing something at God. I can picture like, here God, here's my cares. Let me lay them at your feet, that sort of thing. But I don't picture throwing it. So. What are your thoughts on that? So I, I think it's a great question that you have. I think there are probably other people that have similar questions to this. And what you're doing is really nice. Uh, it helps because we all we all have questions you're like that we either don't think of when we have somebody we can ask, mm -hmm. or we're like, I'm not sure who I should who I should ask. And uh, not necessarily certain that I'm the person to ask, but I can tell you, you are, what I think. You're the person to ask. <laughs> so um as as uh, as I was looking at it, um, you uh, a passage you shared was from First Peter, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's chapter five, verse seven, and it says, "Casting all your anxieties on Him because He cares for you." And I thought, well, you know, um, it's easy for us to to look at Scripture and to be able to say, oh, "What does what does that mean?" Um, but I think it helps when we look at a little bigger picture of it. And so um, the sentence begins in verse 6, and it says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, for he cares for you. And so um, as, as, I, as I think about who we are, and as I think about this idea of of um, casting our cares, throwing our cares mm -hmm. at God, yeah. one of the things I thought of is um, when I'm really frustrated with something, and I'm like, I just I can't get it. I don't understand it. It's not anything that I do very well. <laughs> I will often look at my wife and say, here, you take it. <laughs> and I am casting that burden mm -hmm. on her. Yeah. And typically when I'm doing that, I'm casting the burden to, to her and it's right in her wheelhouse. Yeah. And she's able to say, oh, good, I can do this. And I'm like, great, because I can't. Yeah. Now, it goes back to, uh, to verse 6. Humble yourselves. Mm -hmm. okay. And so we, I, I think in the um, United States and in Europe where we are pretty affluent, um, we like to think that we can pretty much handle all of our own concerns. You know, we, we talk about um, pulling ourselves up by our own boot, bootstraps. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we, we think of, you know, the kind of the, I got uh, the this. iconic, yeah, the the Lone Ranger, right? Um, and we think, you know, that's what we're supposed to be. And God is saying to us, "You need to come to me. Mm -hmm. You need to come to me." And He goes, "I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to exalt you when you humble yourself and come to me." And then He says, "Throw all of your burdens here." And it's like some of us we we find it easy to share burdens with others mm -hmm. but sometimes we don't yeah sometimes we're like i should be able to handle all this and so i want to handle all of this myself or i don't want to dump something on someone right yeah because it's not fair mm -hmm. because i should be able to handle it right and god says humble yourself and so for for me as i hear this and as i think about this i think okay I need to realize who I am 
in relationship to who God is. And um, to be able to humble myself and say, God, I need your help with whatever it may be. Um, and when we can take some of those things that are bigger, uh, where we're frustrated and we are casting those things, where we are throwing them at God, um, I think that helps us to learn, okay, you know what? Maybe I can cast something not so big. Maybe I can see, and God says, just you know, trust me. Mm -hmm. He says, rely on me and I will exalt you. I will you know, make your life abundant. Jesus said he came that we may have life and life abundantly. God wants that for each of us. And that's important, but it's important that we know who, who he is. So it's not like it's you, like where you even have to get to the frustrated part. It seems like he's basically just saying, hey, throw it my way. I got it. You don't even have to carry that burden. You don't even have to get to the point where you're just like, I'm done. Go to him first before you even have to be done because you don't, he's saying, cast your care, cast your anxiety. Yeah, cast all of your anxieties. How do you do that? I need, to you know, take my, I need to take that and listen to it. You know, that. <laughs> if I had the easy answer, we'd all be doing that, wouldn't we? But, but, but I do think it takes, it takes practice yeah. to be able to do that. Uh -huh. um, and that's why I think it begins with this casting our big cares, throwing those cares, because it is when we get to those who are like, okay, I really can't do this myself. I mean, I know I can't do it. I know who I am. I know this problem is bigger than I am. So I'm going to throw that there and say, go ahead, God, let's see if you can do this. Mm -hmm. And God will say, I can do this. And I will answer this. And then we might say, okay, maybe I'll try something else uh, to see what, what God is doing. So I was um, on a, a mission trip in Egypt a number of years ago. And I was at a at this conference and um, told about a an Egyptian man who had a dream. And all the dream was was a phone number. He woke up and he thought, well, that's odd. And uh, the next night he had a dream, same phone number came up. And it happened two or three nights in a row. And um, he knew he was looking for something, but he didn't know what. And so I said, well, I guess if I've had this dream, I'm going to make the phone call. I'd be calling and so he, woke up. <laughs> he, he, he called and ended up um, getting the phone of a missionary from, um, from Egypt who was in Morocco who said, how did you get my phone number? I said, I had a dream. And so this missionary then led the man to Christ. And that man's life was changed. And I believe it's because he had said, you know, to, to God, I don't know what's going on here. I'm not happy with what I'm, mm -hmm. the way I'm living. I want something better. And God said, here, yeah, you know, That's trust cool. me, follow me. It, it is. And I think when we do that, we can see God at work yeah. all the time. And, and that goes back to humbling ourselves before the Lord mm -hmm. to let God work in our lives. And knowing that He knowing that He's got it and He can do it. We don't have to we don't even have to be stressed. We don't have to make let ourselves get to that point. Listen, I'm telling myself, you don't even have to. <laughs> what do you what do you do? What have you been doing? Yeah, see, I wouldn't it be great if we could just do that. I mean, you know, as a, I've been a pastor over 30 years. Um and it's hard to do that. Yeah, you know, it is. It's hard to hard to do that. We have different things that we we worry about. Something that you may find really easy, I find difficult, and something I find easy, you find difficult. And that's why God draws us together and calls us to live live in community to help one another. So, so it starts with humility. Starts with humility. It starts with humility. You know, I always think like it's. We can either find humility. I'm call, I constantly am like, God, please help me to walk in humility so I do not have to be face down in the mud humble. 
Like, I, I believe if I'm like, if I can't find humility, I will find that it will find me. So I'm like, please just let me just, and you know what? I get blessed pretty often with chances to be humble, you know? And when I get those chances off, it's, I'll, I sit there and I'm like, okay, God, I see that. And I'm, and I grit my teeth and go, I asked for that. But you know what? I'd rather have those little chances and opportunities. See, that is something that you do better than I do. I, I prayed for humility once. I'm like, I'm not doing it. I'm not asking that. No, no, again. I pray for it. I pray to walk in it. And also, if in there, another lesson I learned is judgment. Before I judge something, I'm like, no, 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 no. Because I, I mean, I've learned, I have been face down the mud enough. I'm like, please don't let me get to that point. Like, just let me be, just give me the gnosis to where I can experience it without having the. No, I'm not asking for a dose of humility. I'm saying, let me walk in it. Let me stay in it. Keep me in it. <laughs> very, very, very good. Yeah, because we've all had those those experiences. But as I as I think about the Christian life, humility is often at the center of it. Mm -hmm. um, understanding that we are the created and God is the creator. We're not and, God. Yeah. And, and we can cast our cares on him. <laughs> <laughs> Cast yeah. your cares on him. Yeah. Throw your cares. He says we can, so let's just trust him and see what he does, right? Absolutely, yes. Thank you for doing that today. Maybe we can do it again sometime. My, my pleasure. It's fun. Yeah, thank yeah. you. It's always good to ask good questions. All right. We'll see you next time.